Hi, I'm John Satino with Biostem US. We're a publicly traded biotech company located in Clearwater, Florida. We believe the future of medicine will rely on the body's own cells to fight disease, repair damage, or in this case, regrow hair. The internationally published results of our hair growth studies have led to many new and exciting possibilities. But to better explain this new technology is one of the world's foremost nutritional scientists and adult stem cell researchers, Dr. Paul Sandberg. Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Sandberg. I'm a co-founder of Natura Therapeutics and I'm a distinguished professor at the University of South Florida. I've been studying regenerative medicine, uh, a field of medicine of how we repair our body for about 20 years. In studying this field, one thing we now know is that there is a specialized cell within our body called a stem cell that is really the unique repair mechanism for us as we age gracefully. When we think about stem cells in our body, they're all over. They mainly come from our bone marrow. That is the marrow within our whole skeletal system. But they travel in a highway throughout our body. They go through our blood system, they go to all the organs, they go to the brain and the skin. And we now know that they can remain there in a very quiescent, quiet phase for a while until they're needed when there's injury or when there's new cells needed because of just our aging process. Stem cells are unique from other cells. We all know that a cell divides, but when a stem cell divides, it does what's called an asymmetric division. That is, it makes one of itself and it makes one of something else. It actually differentiates, becomes some other type of cell. And this could be any body cell. It can be a brain cell. It can be a skin cell. It can be a, a, a liver cell. I mainly study brain function and brain diseases such as stroke, Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injury. And what we now know is that while in school we thought that there were no more brain cells. You were born with as many as you were going to have. But we know that's not true. We know that there are stem cells in our brain that actually continue to develop and divide as we grow. And they become new neurons, new brain cells, make new connections. There are some current theories about aging, disease, and in fact now relate to stem cell function. If stem cells are not in the right numbers, do not function properly, then we see diseases occurring. We see us age perhaps faster. It's very important that we understand how stem cells work in the body. It is probably the most important area of medicine in regenerative medicine right now and probably for the next few decades. For some, the stress of everyday life can prove to be too much, actually causing their hair to fall out. In our 10 News Extra tonight, reporter Tammy Fields shows us that there's an experimental treatment here in the Bay Area that may help your hair grow back regardless of why it fell out. Under the hot Florida sun, why in the world would 30-year-old Russell Gibson be sporting a knit stocking cap? In nearly three years, hardly anyone has seen him without it. Uh, nobody really knows that I have this problem except for two or three people I've actually told. In his garage, in private, when no one is home is the only time he removes it. He shaves his head so you can't see the circular clumps of hair that have fallen out. He has alopecia areata. It's an autoimmune disease where white blood cells attack the hair follicle, which stops hair growth on the scalp and on the body, too. It just became multiple patches all over. It can be brought on by extreme stress. When Gibson developed it, he was on an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, it just starts out like multiple little tiny patches, little like the size of a dime. Worst of all, there is no cure. It's tough for Gibson because growing up, he always had a full head of hair. This has changed his life. We got to the point where I didn't go over and see my family unless it was daytime. That way I could wear sunglasses and a hat, cover up. John Satino, the clinical director at the Hair and Scalp Laser Clinic, can relate. You know, I started losing my hair at an early age in 1969. We didn't have too many options back then. We had hair transplants and hair pieces or wigs. The hair transplants were very archaic and bloody and painful. But you can have you a seat right here, Russell. So Gibson opted for an experimental treatment using stem cells. So this treatment involves drawing the blood of the patient, their own blood, It's then separated, and the it's called PRP or 
or platelet-rich plasma, which contains stem cells and growth factors. A laser is used to agitate the skin so the stem cells can migrate into the hair follicles. Are you doing okay with this rate? Those factors then are injected into the scalp in the uh, affected area. Patients are expected to see results after about three months. Their results are going to be published in a study. Gibson is just hoping he finally can get his life back. That's what I'm known for. I'm just the goofball. So by August, I plan on taking all my hats and having a big bonfire and never wearing a hat again, to be honest. Just In Largo, Tammy Fields, 10 Connects. If you'd like more information on this new and exciting research, please contact us at any time.